So the first thing, first is that we come from the first cell of the father and the mother. And they combine together, become a perfect cells. So, um, and it started to split. From one cell split into many cells. This is the embryo cell, A, and move down and stick in the placenta and split into stem cell. So this is all original. So you have to understand what I try to tell you is we're talking about the original of the original, okay? Because the embryo cell is the original one. The stem cell is the original one. And it's split into each organ and creating the brain, the heart, the marrow. And the marrow also can creating a stem cell that we have now. So along the line, the stem cell we have now is very far away from the blood line. You see the point there? They are quite far away. So a simple way to calculate, a very simple way to calculate, one sex cells split up into two, two to four, four to eight, eight to 16, 16 to 32, you keep on multiplying, okay? So you keep on multiplying. When we grow up, how many cells we have? 27 trillion cells. Trillion is a big number, really big number, right? The only one country in the world have a billion dollar budget is American. <laughs> it's a one trillion dollar budget. You put a dollar from here to the moon, that's one trillion. Okay. So it's a very big number. But 27 trillion is a very, very big number. So but every year, in a thousand seven years, we are completely multiplying another 27 trillion cells. So by the time the end of people's life, how many, how many cells we split? From one cell to 20 trillion cells, multiplied by 70, how many? Or multiplied by 10? We say multiplied by 10. How many? It's a lot. We cannot calculate the number. The computer screen can put on all. <laughs> so it's a lot. But what happens if you make one copy, if you have original and you want to print the original, and you print 50,000, what happened to the last copy you get? Huh? You get a blur copy, right? Right? You have a one master, and you keep on make copy, 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 copy. What you get? You get a blur copy. So what are you going to do with it? You have to go back to get the original, make a new copy, a new master, and you make a copy again. So that's what the Tao said, we have to go back to the original. The original of the original is what? The sexual energy. You get that? So it's split into many cells. Okay. Now, one thing that they discovered that this is their research, um, but they haven't said conclusion. Sometimes a lot of research, they don't conclude what, what, they, what they're going to do with it. So they discovered that an old man getting very old, and the brain gets shrimp down, very small. Compared to a young man, okay, in the same side of the body, the brain is bigger, okay? But the Tao text written down many thousand years, when men accept ejaculation, it empty the brain. So that means this old man ejaculation a lot. <laughs> so the brain is empty, 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 and getting more smaller, okay? So that is, this is true, you know? Okay? So the Every time ejaculation excessively, it takes the, the energy in the brain out, and the brain getting shrimp down smaller. Okay? And uh, they also discover this is the research on the Alzheimer associations. And they discover that lacking of sexual hormone in the, in the woman is a major cause of Alzheimer's disease after the menopause. So, they discover that the sexual hormone have to go up and stimulate the brain every day. If the sexual hormone don't go up to stimulate the brain, the brain started to don't active and gradually go down and the cell die. And if happen to 
have the cells that remember the name and addresses, what happened? Cannot remember who I am. And we ask where you live. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So you can't even go home, you know. Okay. So that is the... Um, so what you're doing here, exactly what the scientific discover. Okay. You try to draw the sexual energy upward into the brain. Okay. Draw the sexual energy upward to the brain. Okay. And um, this another research is also very interesting about in the Tucson, Arizona, they discover that a worm have a very simple cells, and it's very similar with human cells, okay? But this worm, when they're born, they like to have sex, and until they die, so they live 8.1 day. So they say, oh, this is easy to re research, because humans live up to 70 years, it takes a long, so many to research them, you know, okay? So they want to research that, and they discover that making sperm is found to shorten lifespan in womb. They don't conclude that on man yet. <laughs> okay. well, exact, but they said, in the beginning, they said this is the same cell with the human. Okay. So they discover that, uh, so it's normal way they have sex, they live up to 8.1 day. Now, when, um, when they, they say, let's make them no sex, okay, like monk. So we call the monk worm. Okay, among world. So no sex. Okay, put them in one box, one square box, nobody there. So you cannot have sex, you know. So they discover that the worm live longer. Okay? They live up to 11.1 day. They say, let's try out, and again, if make the sperm, no sperm producing, no the sperm come out and no sperm produce. What happened? So, and actually, the technique of the Tao, we call the Tao's worm. <laughs> so so, uh, so, it, so it, it actually, you cannot teach a worm to have a sexual kung fu practice. No? You cannot teach them. <laughs> so they actually cut off the one that's producing the sperm and still have the worm have sex as many as you want. Okay? And they discover that the worm live longer in this way. So they cut off, stress the sperm production and still permit to mate and make love, and they survive up to 14 days. So that is a, it's a very great discovery for the Tao sexual practice, you know, <laughs> because by simple learn how to conserve the sexual energy for men only. We talk about men now. Stop ejaculations. Just learn how to stop or control ejaculation. You live longer, right? So from eight days, to 14 day, how many percent? 70 percent. So you add up your life 70 percent, then just don't have to be eat a lot of super vitamin, or super, 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 what is the super? You just learn how to control your sex, learn how to control your life force, and recycle your life force, your sexual energy. You live more 70 percent. This is what they discover in a womb. <laughs> okay. But, and they, in the conclusion, they said this might apply to men, but they haven't tested on men yet. <laughs> so, this is the female hormone, look like a fan, the oxygen, okay, and it's spread out from here like a fan. And Man is, I don't know, man is, look like flower. <laughs> Woman look like sand, you know. So men, testosterone, look like flower, flower, flower. So it's very interesting, yeah? When you see them, you close your eye, and you do the Tesco or a Tesco breathing, and you feel like the hormone come up like flower, flower. <laughs> okay. Some, this is the, a lot of things is so amazing now. They discover, they do a very... Uh, this one, they use what kind of method? Um, they use a special uh, um, set of photographs when they actually see the hormone come spread out and they photograph them. Okay? So um, we talk about this quite a few times. When you feel arousal, orgasm, and loving energy, what happens? The body producing it hurts. Together with the earth, it hurts. And this one will make the cell split and cross over like a two serpent 
intervene and elastic embrace when they make love, when we feel love, when we make love, it gives birth to reproduce a new cells. If any cell don't reproduce, they eventually they will die. Okay, and um, so the uh, orgasmic vibration around this crossover process will lead to to give birth to, to three. Okay, the concept of new cells. So it's very important. So the whole thing we're going to base on this practice. Okay? And this is the, a lot of research on this on the Western front now. Okay? And um, the love and orgasm is very important. Okay? Emotional, we go through already. Emotional drain our life force, especially the kidney. Fear. Phobia, okay, trauma, take away a lot of life force in our body. So the heart, the love, in the dark very emphasize in the heart and the sexual energy. So these two is together. You have to work together, okay? And yeah. every religion is the same also. And the interview that they asked the mother, the mother, mother, where you get so much love to give to our people. So mother said, you know, when I, feel, when, I, when I feel so much love, I give out, and I give out. And suddenly, when I feel no more love, and suddenly I feel my sexual energy rises up to my heart. And suddenly, I have more love. And all the reporters say, oh, <laughs> mother talk about sex. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and watch, oh my God. She gives something to the world of her 40 to 50 years of experience. Okay? She just so much love, so much love and no sex. So much love and so much love, no sex. And suddenly the sexual energy transforms and rises up to the heart and multiplies more love. And nobody understands it. Because they, if, if you talk about sex, they're sinful, dirty. Don't talk about it. But you close, your, you close the door and do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. And the problem is that you close the door and do whatever you want, you do it in the wrong way. Okay? So in the Tao said, if you don't learn how to make sex in the, wrong, in the right way, you're harming yourself more than you're gaining anything. Okay? You do it the right way, you gain more energy. So that's why loving energy, is where, love and sex is very important. Okay? So the Tao will always harm.